Today, I'd like to start by asking you a question. Have you ever had heartburn before? If you're like most people, at one point or another, you have had heartburn before, and your first thought was, got too much stomach acid, I need to take an acid neutralizer. Well, actually, it may be the exact opposite. See, conditions with too little stomach acid actually present a lot like conditions of too much stomach acid. In other words, heartburn. Harper can actually be a symptom of too little or too much stomach acid. And in a conversation I had with a doctor once about this, he said most of his patients who suffer heartburn actually end up finding they have too little stomach acid, not too much. So then when they take an acid neutralizer, they may help the symptoms on night one, but all of a sudden it gets worse and worse and worse and you need more and more acid neutralizer and then it doesn't work at all. And that's because you're not actually treating the, the root cause, you're just treating symptoms. And in, the, uh, and, and in the process, making your digestion worse as a result. So what I wanna do today is talk about how does this happen and what can we do about it? Number one, why can too little stomach acid mean heartburn? Well, it's pretty simple. There's a valve right at the bottom of the esophagus, right where the stomach and the esophagus meet. I like to use the image of like a garage door. And this door's responsibility is to open and close at the right time. So when we eat food, our body starts, our stomach starts to produce more acid. It's a very important part of digestion. It breaks down the, the food we just ate and we need it. Now, normally, when you start producing this higher level of acid, sends this signal to that door, bank hits the garage door closer, and the thing closes, this valve closes, and it keeps the acid in the stomach where it belongs. The acid in the stomach is similar to that of battery acid, so it's very, very acidic. So we want to keep that in the stomach. The stomach is protected in most cases from it. It's supposed to be there. We don't want it coming up into the esophagus, so the door closes. Well, in many people's cases, especially as we age, our production of that acid decreases, okay? So when you eat food, your body still is trying to produce more acid, and it does produce more acid, but not enough to send that message to close. So now the valve stays open, that garage door stays open. So then it can be a half an hour later, hour later more, that valve never closed, and now you recline, or maybe you're still just standing up. So then what happens, that acid starts to come back up the esophagus and you get heartburn. Again, you think, oh, I've got too much stomach acid, I need, I need to, to block this. When in actuality, had you had more stomach acid to begin with, that door would have closed, digestion would have occurred as it should, and you never would have had any problems. So what can we do? Well, one of the tricks that I like to do to see if I have too little or too much stomach acid is I grab some apple cider vinegar, like this one right here, that's from Bragg's, very popular brand. Now, this is acidic, not nearly as acidic as battery acid or the acid that's similar to what's in our stomach, but it is acidic. And what I do is I take a couple tablespoons diluted in some water just after I finish eating my meal. This introduces a little bit more acid to the process. Now, if you have too much stomach acid, you'll know because adding even this little bit of apple cider vinegar, you'll end up feeling worse. Oh man, you know, you, you feel it. If that's the case, stop. I'd probably give the doctor a call and talk about this because it may be an indication of a greater problem, an ulcer or something like this. However, if you notice that it feels better or it doesn't get any worse, but ideally in many people that I've talked to in their cases, they feel better. They say, boy, I didn't, didn't get any heartburn that night. That's an indication you actually need more stomach acid or more acid. Now, if you don't want to take the Bragg's, and by the way, one quick note on apple cider vinegar, please get the stuff that uh, says it's raw and unfiltered. It's, referring, uh, it's referred to as having the mother uh, apple cider or apple in there. That is really essential to the health benefits, okay? You don't want to get that distilled, basically crystal clear, amber looking apple cider vinegar. That is not going to have the same benefits. You want to get the stuff that's in the bottom when you shake it up, you look and it's all floaty and it looks like it's probably not right. That's the stuff you want. That's the good stuff. Now, what if you don't want to, you know, take apple cider vinegar, you don't like the flavor of it. Well, there are supplements you can grab like this one here, just to give you an idea. It'll say on it, betaine HCL, okay? That stands for hydrochloric acid. Now, basically what you do is take an as directed, you take one of these just following your meal, never before, just following the meal. And uh, you, you will 
likely find that you have much better digestion as a result, no heartburn, and it seems counterintuitive because you're adding acid to a situation where you thought you had too much. So what I like to do is I start with the apple cider vinegar because it's less potent than the supplement. I start with this. If I feel better on it, you can either stay with it, or if you feel better but you still get a little heartburn here and there, maybe give the supplement a try. Note, you'll see betaine HCL by itself. You'll also see it in formulas with enzymes, which we talk about in another video. Enzymes are also critical to digestion. So either way, you should start to see some, some benefit, um, whether you're using apple cider vinegar or the supplement. The takeaway for today is, next time you get heartburn, don't right away reach for that acid neutralizer. You may actually need more acid.